Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do split toning using Lightroom. Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do split toning in black and white photography using Lightroom. Now split toning was an old fashioned technique done to black and white prints as they were being processed. What you did was you put one colour into the shadows and then you put another colour into the highlights and that created a split toning effect. So we're going to do that in Lightroom. It's a really, really good way to add interest to black and white photography. Let's get straight into it. So this is the image that we're going to use. Now, firstly, you're going to need to use a black and white image. Now, I've already black and whited this up and I've done all sorts of techniques to this, but that's another tutorial. But quite simply, all you do is grab an image and turn it black and white. I'll just quickly show you how to do that just in case. So let's just use this one, for example. If I just click black and white there, it's now a black and white image and you can do split toning. You can also change the contrast and, and such there if you want to. And we're gonna use this image here. Now it's really, really simple split toning. You go down to this section here called split toning, obviously in uh, Lightroom. And here's your highlight color and here's your shadows color. You click on this box here and it brings up this color palette. So choose a color that you like. Now I'm going to choose, this is the highlight, so I'm going to choose a nice light color like yellow to go in the highlights and that really warms it up. I mean that looks lovely just as it is to be fair. So I'm going to use yellow just like that. Click back onto your square to get rid of it and then you choose the shadows down here. Click on the shadows and because it's the shadows I'm going to choose a quite darker color like a blue like this here. Yep, yeah, that's not bad maybe not so much about there. Good. Click on the square again to get rid of it. And that really is as simple as that. You can change the balance with this slider here. So I can turn it more towards the highlights or more towards the shadows. Um, I'm going to leave it in the center because to be fair, it's, I think it's easier to do it whilst you're in the color palettes. And if you do want to add a bit more saturation to the yellows, you just slide this slider up. Yeah, that's not bad. And you can do that there, or you can bring the, the saturation out if you want to by doing that. And that's pretty much how you do split toning in Lightroom. And there you go, a really easy way to put some interest into black and white photographs using Lightroom. Split toning, it's a great technique and I hope you have fun with it. Now I want to ask you to please support the School of Photography and you do that by just subscribing and liking the videos, sharing it with your friends and getting our tutorials out there to other people. I would really, really appreciate it if you could do that for us at the School of Photography. Don't forget also to join our learning community on social media. We run some competitions on Facebook and Instagram and why don't you come and join us over there. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.